The next bit of wall to repair is this bit above the door. Now this used to be access to the water tanks. You might remember me taking the big water tanks down all that time ago when the place was super sketchy and dangerous, more than it is now. So now, because the water tanks aren't there, and because we want to keep the full height of the attic to see all the lovely exposed kind of joints that I've done and stuff, this is no longer needed, and it's going to add a massive amount of strength to the roof by blocking it back up. But before we do that, I need to get a door in. I need to seal this door up underneath because there's still a chance rain can get in there even though inside is covered. So if we get that shut up, then no wind or rain can get in. And because it's quite likely that that door's gonna be there for a while, probably until we get the proper oak internal door till the place is, you know, being plastered, that's gonna be there for quite a while. So it's worth putting in a bit of extra effort now to get it nice. And it means I get to use full range of all my new tools from milling the timber to processing it to jointing everything to clamping it to getting it on there
Ah, one of two doors. Okay, yeah, it took me a significantly longer amount of time than I expected, but I don't know, it's nice to make something nice, you know. I've got all the tools here now. I need to practice going forward to make this type of stuff, but more refined, so why not put in a bit of effort for the things that are gonna stick around for a while? Anyway, one side done, all the other bits are cut, they're mortise and tenon, they're ready to be pegged together, so that shouldn't take too long, and tomorrow I can mount them and then I can start bricking up. Yeah, OSB door would have been probably just as good. Anyway, see you tomorrow.